why you keep doing this. No, you gotta stop pushing me. Hold on. You gotta stop pushing this way. You were out already if you would quit pushing. Stinks. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hey guys, Brian here on Morrow Hill. Um, I just drove by the goat yard. I just come up here and turn around because I saw something. And I just checked on my goats this morning. They were they were fine, you know, I come up here to feed them obviously. And here we are just a few hours later. Let's see what's going on. I just don't know why you keep doing this. No, you gotta stop pushing me. Hold on. You gotta stop pushing this way. You were out already if you would quit pushing. If you'd quit pushing, you'd... No, back! Back, Elfie! Elfie, you gotta go backwards, bud. Not forward. Turn. I know, it's not... No, you would Go back! Okay. You gotta quit pushing forward. Go! Okay, I don't know how that just happened. I know that a lot of you are not going to like this. <laughs> I know I'm going to upset some of y'all, but Elfie is about to get the stick of shame taped up there. Because he's done this multiple, multiple times a day for the past three days. And that's dangerous. Because did y'all hear him coughing and choking? That's because he was pushing back against me trying to get him out and it was choking him. And that's just a dangerous ordeal. So we're going to... We're gonna put the stick of shame on Elfie later on. Let's go check on Amy because she's laying down over there. Amy! Flash, what are you doing over here? Amy, what you doing, baby? I'm coming to see you. There's cats everywhere down here. So I'm gonna assume that means there's no snakes right here. Amy, still got both your boots on. You wanna get up? You just relaxing in this cool dirt? Yeah? Just relaxing in the cool dirt? It looks like she's shaking her head yes at me. Hey, what's going on? You want to get up? Come on. Come on. Flash is going to see you. Aww. <laughs> Flash, she doesn't want to hang out with you. Amy, you're filthy. I want her to get up right now. I want to see what that looks like. Amy, come on. Your hair, girl. Come on. All right, come on, Flash. Let's go get a snack for Amy. I don't know if it's just like worried mom mode, but I am afraid that Amy cannot get up. 
and that scared me. I have a pain pill in my hand because this usually gets her pretty angry at me and gets her up, which I don't want her to be angry at me. But if it makes her stand up, that'll be okay with me. Amy, can you get up, baby? Look at where she's been moving her back feet. Amy, can you get up, baby? Okay, let's see. Amy, can you do it? Look, can you get up? Flash, stop it. Flash, cut it out. I don't know if Amy can stand up right now. Um, so I'm gonna keep checking on her throughout the day and you know, see if this is just what she's doing now or if she's being stubborn and maybe she'll get up. But I will keep y'all updated and let you know how she's doing in a little while. That heifer just stood up right when I walked back over here to this mule. She's fine. Okay, well, she's not fine, but she's not done either. I cannot believe she just played that trick on me. I was really sad over there, thinking that she couldn't get up on her own. I've got all kind. She's fine. Elfie. Elfie, it's time for us to have a talk, son. Can I talk? Flash! You don't need the talking to. You're not like Elfie. Elfie, you've had a bad habit lately of getting your head stuck in the fence. Your horns are just too big. So, as punishment, we'll say, I've picked a switch but it's not for what you think. I'm not gonna spank you with it. And you might not agree with what I'm gonna do, but it's for your own good. Guys, when I came out here earlier today, Elfie was stuck in the fence again, and that's three days in a row that he's been stuck in the fence multiple times. I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know if he always puts his head through the fence and his horns are just now big enough that they get stuck, that he can't pull them back through as easy. So I've picked him a switch but I've made his switch fashionable because this isn't a spanky stick. This is a stick of shame, but I put smiley faces on it. He still has to wear it. So I brought this fun little vet wrap that I went and picked from the sanctuary. I've measured the stick to make sure it doesn't go through the cow panel. Elfie, we're, do we're doing this, my friend. There.
Elfie, you're settled. Uh, you seem pretty mad at me right now and I'm sorry, but here's what I did here. I figured this vet wrap would be more comfortable than tape because it only sticks to itself. It doesn't stick to his horns. And then right here, I taped the edges of this stick of shame up, you know, covered them real thick in this vet wrap because I'm not gonna give you a weapon against these other goats. There will be no pokey pokey with this stick of shame, okay? Had to make it as fair as possible, but now you can't get stuck in the fence. I don't know how long you're gonna have to wear this because you're a goat and goats don't seem to learn things very quickly. But as soon as you, as soon as I think you've learned your lesson, we'll get rid of the stick of shame, okay? It's because I love you. I do, I love you. <laughs> He's not having it. I'm sorry, buddy. I am sorry. It's for your own good. You were choking yourself this morning. So yeah, I came out this morning and Elfie was stuck and he started choking himself and he was gagging and spitting and that's a very dangerous situation for a goat to find themselves in. So I know a lot of you don't like the stick of shame, but it is for the goat's own good, for Elfie's own good, to keep him protected, and hopefully he'll learn not to put his head through the fence. Hey guys, Bree in here on Morrow Hill. And I guess as y'all can tell already, is what I'm gonna do today is just sit here with this bucket of feed I have to be very quiet because Myra doesn't know that I'm here yet. That's why she hasn't come running over, I think. Yeah, I brought this bucket of feed for you. And you, you can come eat some. Oh, I have a great, oh no. She's on me. Here, how about this, hold on. I've just made little piles all around me. There's more flies around me than there probably has ever been in my life. Why are y'all sharing? There's four piles here. There you go. See, I'm nice. I'm nice. I brought the food so we can hang out. I know you'll let me love you. You'll let me love you a little bit. It's okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh oh. I'm about to get some more visitors. Hi! Hi! Can y'all be gentle with me, please? Hi! What you doing? I'm glad the fence is on that side. Settle down. I was saying I'm glad the fence is on that side right about the time he started pushing it over on me, so. Wish me luck. Oh, it, no, your breath stinks. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. It's very peaceful, actually. I have all these animals on every... Do you, do you smell something over there? Oh, you were looking for the perfect spot of grass, right? You too? What are you sniffing at? Please don't push. Uh, uh, whoa, okay. I guess doing this this close to the fence wasn't a good idea. I better get up. I was, I was just trying to give myself a backrest while I sat with my cows and y'all were all in the back pasture. Every single one of you were in the very back of the pasture. 
All of you were way back there. How did you even know I was up here? I'll go get you a bucket of food. Just hold on. Myra, eat it. Hurry. Hi. Happy birthday.